We know what day it is when you see me here with a nice cup of piping hot tea. You got it, it's another episode of Tea Time Tuesday. And in case you haven't seen an episode of Tea Time Tuesday yet, this is a Q&A style video where I ask you guys to send me in your questions. So either leave questions below in the comment box here on YouTube or from time to time, I will also ask for question responses over on my Instagram. So if you're not following me over there, jump on over and give me a follow there as well. And if you are new here, I'm Kylie, homeschool mom to three, book lover and adventure seeker. And we've been homeschooling our kids since 2007. So I do hope you stick around a while. Anyway, let's get into it, shall we? So the question I have today is actually one that I've been asked a million times over the years, well, maybe not a million, but a lot of times over the years. And that is, how do I fill my cup? whilst also giving my children all the opportunities that I feel they need and deserve. If I'm being truly honest with you all, this is actually one of the hardest questions for me to answer out of the plethora of questions that could have been sent in to me. And that is because filling my cup, I haven't done a great job of that over the years. And especially when my children were little. I have been one of those typical moms and I think when I say this, a lot of you will probably resonate with this, but that I naively believed that to be a good mother, I needed to be able to do it all on my own, power through and know that I had everything here in our home under control. No matter how much I may have been struggling or crumbling on the inside. That basically sums up probably about my first 10 years of homeschooling. So in the really early years when my kids were teeny tiny, I had a seven, eight year old, four, five and a baby toddler, those type of ages. The one thing, and this is so silly, I, but anyway, it's my story. I can only share my story with you, but the one thing that I did every single day to top up my cup in just some little way it was the minute my husband walked in the door at 5 5 30 in the afternoon after work was to hand him the kids and leave and of course that wasn't because i didn't want to be around my children i just needed some time away with my own thoughts but did i go to the gym no did i go for a walk no. Do I head down to the water and just sit by the water and spend a quiet few minutes with myself? No. I went to the grocery store. Yes, about 30 to 45 minutes every single afternoon, Monday to Friday, was my way of giving myself back a little bit of time to be with myself, just to be on my own. No one's calling me, talking to me, no one needs to go potty, no one needs food, any of those things. I could just wander the grocery store aisles, look at some of the different food varieties that I may not have seen before, leisurely take my time and get a few bits and pieces before I pulled myself back together and walked back home in that door ready to face it all again. And you know, even today, I still struggle to do full grocery shops. I still see myself at the grocery store every few days because it has become a habit for me. So whilst that's not a very exciting way to fill my cup, it was one little thing that I could do that helped. It certainly didn't have my cup overflowing with joy, but it helped in that moment, in those days, in those weeks, in those months when I wondered what on earth I was doing. Was there ever going to be an end to this constant cycle of having little children running around at our feet. And I knew that I needed some space for my own thoughts to be able to emerge and to just be me for a few minutes each day. Now when I look back on that girl, I actually feel quite sad for her. But in that moment, I know that she was doing the best job that she possibly could do. And when we know better, we do better. And that was simply just a season of life that I was in at that time. And seasons, as we know, come and go, and they're continually changing throughout our motherhood years. And so the season that we find ourselves in here today is not going to be the same season that we will be in in two or three years down the track. I guess reflecting on that, it is about finding ways to be able to fill those cups, or at least add something into those cups, we may not be able to fill them to completely full and overflowing, but to add something back into our cups in any manner that we can. 
And slowly, slowly, as my kids have gotten older, I've gotten so much better at doing things purely for myself. One highlight of my month is my monthly book club dinner. And I've been participating in this book club for several years now. Space that's all about me. Me, just Kylie the person, me. Not Kylie the mom, not Kylie the homeschool mom, not Kylie the wife, sister, or friend. Although actually friend is probably wrong because I'm there with my friends. But it is a space just for me to have my own thoughts and feelings. And it's a really important part of my month. Now, I find myself at the stage where my kids are actually old enough to be left at home all day by themselves. They're truly old enough to fend for themselves, look after themselves, and I can head off and choose to do pretty much whatever I want for a day, or really, probably even a weekend. Although I have to be honest, I don't like being away from my kids for any more than about a night or so. And I think that's because I see the end in sight is so close. And I just want to gather up all the time that I have with my children. I want to be able to cherish in every moment and not be off away doing my own things and missing out on what I could be doing with my children. So it is that tricky balance of being able to meet some of my needs and filling some of my cup whilst also not missing out on anything I'm doing with the kids. And so whilst today I haven't really been able to rattle off a whole list of tips for you to be able to go forth and fill your own cup, I do bring you some of my personal experience and a little bit of my own hindsight. And if I could go back to the Kylie 14 years ago to do whatever it takes to not lose yourself in this journey because a mum with a full cup is a mum that is much better equipped to fill her children's cups and is a mum that will enjoy this whole adventure of homeschooling so much more. And I for one am so forever thankful that I learnt this lesson before it was too late. This is where I want to hear from you today. What are some of the ways that you fill your cup? Especially when you're in your home and you can't actually go anywhere. What are the ways that you can take a moment for yourself just to add a few little extra drops into that cup of yours? Please share them in the comments below because together I know that we can help everyone else out as well. And if you have a question, any question, please also pop it in the comments box below and I'll add it to my list of Tea Time Tuesday questions. I can't always guarantee that I will get to every single question, but I will certainly do my best. So thanks for being here today. Until next time, bye for now.